Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita Mane. In today's video, let us solve the example number 2 of yield based method. So in this example, we are going to solve yield based method by dividend basis and profit basis. Okay, so this is the example. Baron Limited Bareilly issued 50,000 equity share. Okay, 50,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, fully called up and paid up, respectively. So, Baron Limited issued how many shares? 50,000 share, equity shares. And each share is of 10 rupees. So, share capital of uh, this company will be how much? 5 lakh rupees. 50,000 multiplied by 10, the share, equity share capital will be 5 lakh rupees. Then the company has earned sizable amount of net profit during the last five years which were as follows. Okay, so five years the company has earned the net profit. So 2015 the profit is 55,390. 2016 the profit is 57,820. 2017 the profit is 60,140. 2018 the profit is 61,280 and 2019 the profit is 65,370. Now the next information is given of the profit so earned. Okay, so how whatever the profit is earned by the company, 20% was transferred to general reserve. Now this proportion being considered reasonable in the manufacturing industry in which the company is engaged and where a fair investment return that is normal rate of return may be taken as 10%. Okay, so this is the additional information the company has provided. Now, you are required to compute means you are required to find the value of company's equity share in the yield base method okay under dividend uh, basis and profit profit basis separately so by this uh, information whatever information is provided by the company we have to compute what we have to find the valuation of the shares by yield base method now in yield base method you can find under dividend basis and by profit basis now here in this example both the method they have said to find dividend basis as well as profit basis separately okay so let's solve the example now first of all you are going to solve the computation of average accepted future profit okay so what is the average accepted future profit now to find average accepted future profit the formula is what average profit is equals to total profit upon number of years okay so now here all the profit the company has given the profit for life uh, for last five years right so we will take all we will add all this profit okay that means after adding all this profit we will get what total profit so first Profit for the first year is 55,390. 55,390 plus for the second year profit is 57,820 plus six, uh, for third year plus 60,140 plus 60,140 plus 61,280 61,280 plus 65,370 65,370 now total profit upon number of years now how many years uh, the profit is for last five years the profit is given so one two three four five divided by five 
so add all the profit so total profit we will get 3 lakh rupees after adding all the profit of the 5 years we will get 3 lakh rupees divided by number of years number of years is how much 5 so 3 lakhs divided by 5 we will get 60,000 60,000 is what our average profit okay our average profit is how much 60,000 average profit is equals to 60,000 okay so hope you have understood how we got the average accepted future profit so average future profit is what total profit divided by number of number of years total profit is given in the question okay so total average profit we uh, got 20 uh, sorry 60000 rupees now second step is what computation of future maintainable profit now to compute the future maintainable profit what is the formula average profit less percentage transfer to the reserve now how much we got average profit average uh, average profit we got 60000 rupees so average profit right 60000 rupees now less okay less is how much percentage transfer to reserve now see here in the question it is written of the profit okay means uh, of the profit so earned okay whatever profit is earned by the company 20 percent was transferred to what to the general reserve that means how much profit we have earned 60,000 profit we have earned from this 60,000 how much uh, percentage is to be transferred to general reserve 20 percent okay so 20 percent 20 percent of what 20 percent of 60,000 right so 6 uh, so 60,000 minus 20 percent of 60,000 how much we will get 12,000 rupees okay 60,000 multiply by uh, 20 divided by 100 so we will get 12,000 okay so 20 percent of 60,000 is how much 12,000 now 60,000 minus 12,000 48,000 we get okay rupees 48,000 so maintainable profit is how much maintainable profit we got 48,000 maintainable profit is 48,000 okay clear now after this after finding the maintainable profit next step is what rate of dividend okay computation of rate of dividend why we have to compute the rate of dividend because here they have said that find the uh, this thing valuation of the shares by yield based method under dividend basis that's why to find uh, on for to find the yield based uh, basis method under dividend method we have to find what uh, rate of dividend okay so third step is what computation of rate of dividend now rate of dividend uh, is equals to what future maintainable profit divided by equity share capital in bracket paid up multiply by 100 okay so here we have got future maintainable profit yes so how much is the uh, uh, future maintainable profit 48000 okay 48000 right future maintainable profit we got 48000 now divided by what divided by equity share capital okay so equity share capital now see here 50000 equity shares are issued so this 50000 is what number of equity shares and each share is of how much 100 so, sorry each share is of how much 10 rupees so 50000 multiply by 10 we will get how much 5 lakh so 5 lakh is what equity share capital 5 lakh is what equity share capital 5 lakh is equity share capital hope you got uh, understood how i got five uh, five lakh rupees share equity share capital number of shares multiply by uh, uh, this thing per share a value so 48000 is what maintainable profit divided by what uh, 
इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल दैट इज फाइव लैक्स मल्टीप्लाय बाय हंड्रेड सो द आंसर वी गेट नाइंटी सिक्स सॉरी नाइन पॉइंट सिक्सटी पर्सेंट ओके वाई इट इन पर्सेंटेज वी रोड बिकॉज रेट ऑफ डिविडेंट इट इज रेट ऑफ डिविडेंट इज इन पर्सेंटेज रेट ऑफ डिविडेंट रेट ऑफ डिविडेंट वी इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट नाइन पॉइंट सिक्सटी पर्सेंट ओके सो रेट ऑफ डिविडेंट वी गॉट नाउ नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज वॉट स्टेप नंबर फोर कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ कैपिटलाइज वैल्यू ऑफ मेंटेनेबल प्रॉफिट ओके सो कैपिटलाइज वैल्यू ऑफ मेंटेनेबल प्रॉफिट वाई वी फाइंड वाई वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट कैपिटलाइज वैल्यू ऑफ मेंटेनेबल प्रॉफिट बिकॉज वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्युएशन ऑफ शेयर बाय इल्ड बेस्ड मेथड बाय इल्ड बेस्ड मेथड अंडर प्रॉफिट बेसिस ऑल्सो सो फॉर प्रॉफिट बेसिस वी रिक्वायर वॉट कैपिटलाइजेशन कैपिटलाइज वैल्यू ऑफ मेंटेनेबल प्रॉफिट सो वॉट इज द फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ कैपिटलाइज वैल्यू ऑफ मेंटेनेबल प्रॉफिट फॉर्म्यूला इज रिटर्न इयर फ्यूचर मेंटेनेबल प्रॉफिट डिवाइडेड बाय नॉर्मल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड सो फ्यूचर मेंटेनेबल प्रॉफिट हाउ मच इज द फ्यूचर मेंटेनेबल प्रॉफिट फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड ओके फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइडेड बाय वॉट normal rate of return so here in the question it is given see uh, out of the uh, profit 20% it is to be transferred to general reserve we have already transferred then pro this proportion being considered reasonable in the manufacturing industry in which the company is engaged and where a fair investment return fair investment return means normal rate of return is uh, is taken as what 10% so this 10% is what a normal rate of return okay so divided by 10% okay so 48000 divided by 10 multiply by 100 okay so we get 4 lakh 80000 4 lakh 80000 is what a capitalized value of maintainable profit clear 480000 is a capitalized value of maintainable profit okay now fifth step first step number 5 is what computation of yield value of each equity share on which basis on dividend basis okay so to find uh, the yield value of each equity share on dividend basis formula formula is what rate of dividend divided by normal rate of return multiply by paid up value of each equity share so rate of dividend how much we got the rate of dividend 9.60% 9.60% divided by num normal rate of return so how much is the normal rate of return 10% so divided by 10% now multiply multiply by what paid up value of each equity share paid up value of each equity share is how much see 50000 equity shares of rupees 10 each okay so 10 each is what the paid up value of each equity share so 10 multiplied by 10 so 9.60 divided by 10 multiply by 10 so answer is rupees 9.60 okay so Okay, this thing yield value of each equity share on dividend basis is how much nine point sixty. Now step number six. Step number six is what computation of yield value of each equity share on profit basis. So on profit basis, what is the formula? Capitalized value of profit. Capitalized value of profit divided by number of equity share. So capitalized value of profit. See in the step number four, we have already find the value of capitalized value of maintainable profit. Okay. So it is how much? Four lakh eighty eighty thousand. Four lakh eighty 
एटी थाउजेंड इज अ कैपिटलाइज वैल्यू ऑफ प्रॉफिट नाउ डिवाइडेड बाय व्हाट नंबर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर सो हाउ मच इज द नंबर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर द नंबर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो डिवाइडेड बाय फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो फोर लैख एटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय फिफ्टी थाउजेंड द आंसर इज रुपीज नाइन पॉइंट सिक्सटी ओके नाइन पॉइंट सिक्सटी सो on profit basis the answer is 9.50 so here we have got the yield value of each equity share on dividend basis is 9.60 and same the yield value of each equity share on profit basis the answer is 9.60 so in this way you have to find the valuation of uh, shares by yield based method on the basis of dividend and profit so by both the basis we have find okay so total there are six steps which you have to take into the consideration while solving this type of example so i hope you have understood today's example thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification